5am in Sydney's Marrickville. The area's newest probationary constable is on his way to work. His name is Michael Jackson. I cop a lot of shit about my name, both at work and at home, and thinking that I have a pet monkey at home called Bubbles. He would never let me live it down. MJ's an hour early. This is his dream job. But he almost didn't make it after struggling through his last year at school. Probably one of the hardest years of my life. Had a couple of deaths in the family and didn't get the marks that I wanted to, to get straight into the police. So that's why I worked at Macca's for a year and a half, um, did a couple of management courses. So they gave me extra marks as another bit of a boost up um, to be academically eligible. Now he's here, MJ is loving every minute. It's exciting, you don't know what you're walking to every day until you walk through the front doors. But there's a door MJ's about to walk through that nothing can prepare him for. A resident of a local boarding house has written what appears to be a suicide note to his mother. But it was posted two days ago. If this is a suicide, there's every chance they're too late. It's number four there. I certainly can't compare seeing a deceased person or someone who's been seriously injured to anything I've ever experienced. I hope that at the time I will act appropriately, but yeah, I honestly don't know. There's an upstairs as well. You got a number? There's, no, no, there's a number one up there, and that's it. MJ's training officer, Nathan Truman, has found the room, but no answer. Right, so what we're going to do is we've got an eye at our work who is actually a locksmith by trade. He'll come down and pick the lock open. That's, that's what we're waiting for now. Yeah. And then if, if we find a dead guy, we'll, we'll take it from there. Yeah. See what happens. It could be hard for Michael because it could be the first time he's even ever seen a dead person. Basically, there's going to be times where he's going to have to get involved and get his hands dirty and be a part of it. Very good, please. Hey, mate, very good, please. Very good, please. Marryville Police, mate, just wake up for us. Mate, your mum's just received your letter. That's why we're here. Didn't you hear us knocking? Remember the letter you sent your mum, though? Yeah? Do you want to talk to someone about how you're feeling or about what you're, what you're thinking about doing? He's uh, suffering the effects of alcohol. He's heavily hungover. What was the letter about? Were you just a bit depressed or...? Pissed You are pissed? Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure you're all right, mate? Yeah. Obviously... Mate, yeah. obviously, obviously you had a fair bit of detail in your letter. Your mum is quite worrying. I was relieved, but yeah, still a bit daunting. But I think um, it might be best off to get someone to speak to you, eh? A crisis counsellor is called in. She'll make sure he gets the help he needs. We can walk into, like, there's that many different things. I don't think any training can prepare you for something like what this job potentially can be. More than 700 students live on campus at Police College. Others, like former hairdresser Nina, rent homes nearby. Hello, welcome to my love nest. This is my mum. That's the same tattoo I have on my arm there. Um, She's just feeding me when I'm a new newborn. I love that photo because of the way she looks at me. She just loves me so much. So. Nina's 27 and doesn't look much like a traditional police officer, but she's convinced she has a lot to offer the force. The reason I do really truly want to be a cop is because I want to help young kids because I still feel like I'm kind of there, so yeah. But a role play at college is about to test Nina's touch with young people. A school principal has called about an ex-student who has a history of carrying knives. Hello, how are you? How's it going, guys? Principal of the school, are you? Yeah, I'm, you I'm Principal Pickinson. Constable Antronick. How's it going? This is my um, officer. How's it going, mate? 
Um, we've got a student I spelled him last um, about a month ago for yep. carrying a knife. Yep. Um, he's now um, causing a bit of hassle. He's come back to the school, and um, I just don't want him here. I want him, I want him gone. Okay, we'll just go have a chat to him, and um, we'll, we'll get come back on. to you with some feedback. Okay. I just want to go to school. All right, thank you. Come on. What have I done wrong? Where are you going, buddy. What's the problem here today? I just, I just want to go back to school. Yeah. So how about we just take a little walk over this way, away from yeah. the school, and just, and let's talk about what's going on and, and why you were kicked out and, and what. Good policing about is about communication. But Nina is trying so hard to be friendly, she's ignoring procedure. She's already made a life-threatening mistake. Do you guys conflict? Is there a certain no, teacher that just, you know? I don't know. He just doesn't like me. Okay. Yeah. Don't what we might care. do, buddy, is um, maybe give you a ride home and just maybe have a chat to your parents and, and, and talk to them about what's going on and why you're so upset. And yeah. Way too friendly with um, the offender. Mm. So I'm going to have a chat to them about that as well. I'll give you a lift home. We'll talk to mum and dad and um, we'll take it from there. Nina's forgotten to search the student, despite knowing his history with knives. Her partner, Frankie, finally steps in. Oh, got a knife. We had a chat to him. I thought everything was fine until we found the knife, uh, which was pretty, pretty shocking. <laughs> At any time, he could have pulled that knife on either yeah, one of you. Definitely. All right. You are realising now that they did make a fatal error. Good communication skills, I can't fault you on that at all. Okay. However, too friendly? Yep. Okay. I've got to try and find that place in the middle without being too friendly and without being too aggressive, so I'm still trying to find that place. I'll eventually find it, definitely. All right. Okay, thanks for that. Good. Okay, who's next? Dealing with troublesome juveniles is a regular part of the job in Mount Druitt. What's your name, boss? Basically, there's a lot of... Just a lot of use causing trouble here. Tony aspires to be a police prosecutor in the courts, but first he has to spend a year on the beat. If you've done nothing wrong, if you've done nothing wrong, nothing bad will happen, okay? Well, well, done nothing bad, but... okay. With training officer Grant Lindsay, he's been called to a service station which has been robbed several times. And again tonight. Four ewes basically come in here, stole some meat pies and a couple of two-litre cokes and they've run off. You just, how would you describe him? Young Islander male. 16, 17. We're going to go looking for them, OK? Around the back. And you've got a CCTV as well? Yeah. We'll come back and see you once we have a look. There's one. We've got, we've got white jumpers, Grant. Uh, basically, we've got the uh, we've got the PIs. The, uh, they're over there in the white jumpers. Hands out your pockets. Over near the brown fence. Where have you been tonight, you guys? Just in this park. Just in the park? Yep. Have you been uh, near the quicks? No. Why? Would you like me to go next to the quicks? I'm going to be searching you. Do you understand that? Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, if you fail to comply with my search, you may be committing an offence. Do you understand that? Yeah. Oh, sorry, bro. You can search me, but. You ever been in trouble with police before? Yes, I have. Okay. How old are you? I'm 15. Just get you to turn around and take a seat for me, please. All right. Is this your bum bag? Yeah. Okay, I'm telling you, you're under arrest for stealing right now. Do you understand? Oh, Meat pies. What's still did warm? What did Do you I understand feel? what I just said to you? You are under arrest for stealing. Please take that's a seat uh, for me. I Winnie, understand. Winnie, that's Mark already, mate. Well, sit down. What did, what did sit I down. do? Meat pies, mate. I've got it right here in your bum bag, sausage rolls, still sweating, and these two litre bottles of drinks down here. Okay. All right? Yeah. Okay. It's not the great train robbery, but the boy faces a stealing charge. For future prosecutor Tony, it's a taste of reality on the streets. All right, come with me. We haven't looked at the CCTV footage yet, but uh, he'll match the description pretty well. And uh, then we found him here with the warm meat pies. It's pretty much puts him right at the scene at the time. Actually, one of the best meat pies I've had has been in Goulburn, down near the sheep there, so... There's no maximum age restriction on joining the New South Wales Police. At 59, Marilyn is the oldest student at college. She's a wife, grandmother 
and a surf lifesaver at Port Stephens. Lifelong ambition is the reason why I wanted to join the police force. I applied to join many years ago when I was younger, but there was height restrictions, plus um, they weren't having an intake of too many females in those days. With the restrictions now relaxed, Marilyn is convinced she's still fit enough for the challenge. Over the years, I've been a state netball player. I've done some triathlons, touch football, cycling. You grow old if you stand still. <laughs> Today, Marilyn's strength is about to be tested. OK. Wrist locks. What is a wrist lock? This is a basic police um, technique, RTO. using controlled pain Who to subdue it? even the toughest offender. Volunteer. Me? <laughs> Damn right, mate. You. Yeah. Uh, wrist lock. From the front to the front. All right. Hand on your head, look the other way. Oh. <laughs> Hand on your head, look the other way. Right. <laughs> if he bungs it on, yep. Oh. <laughs> I can do it again. OK, if he bungs it on. So, any questions on that? OK, so two lines, partner up. Partner up. Police closest to me. So, police, overhand grip. OK. Now, get that wrist lock on. Outside hand goes on top and communicate. It's a little bit painful until you get the right spot. I mean, because we're just learning, every now and again it goes off cue. Hand on head. Put your hand on your head look the other way. Oh. <laughs> yeah, look the other way. Put your hand on the head look the other way. Good. Rest. Is everyone getting a little bit of pain from the points out of that? <laughs> everyone getting a bit of pain? Very good. Doesn't matter how tall, um, how short, how strong you are, it's all based on techniques and using the offender's weight against them. Oh, you can save their lives. Right. Swap your hands over, and there's your completed wrist yeah. lock. If it's them or me, to protect myself, I've got to use it. I may not be the strongest one out of the group, but my God, you know, they're not going to get it over me. 19-year-old school leaver Frankie started at police college six weeks ago. We're very close, really close, close family, yeah. Frankie is one of the youngest students at college and still struggling with life away from home. I call my parents up every night, call my brother, have a chat, and he keeps me, keeps me going. You're in the station. Today, he's being assessed on a mock scenario. Yep. It's 2am in a suburban police station. Frankie's got no idea who's coming through the door. Hello. There you go, mate. Good, how are you? All right. Mate, they threw me out of the local. Oh, did they? Yeah. Threw an assault. Dealing with drunks is policing 101. Now it's time to go out and start partying. He wants to go back to the pub. The challenge for Frankie is to convince him to go home. But it is two in the morning, and um, it, pretty, it probably is about closing. Yeah, time. mate, I was just having some fun. Yeah, I understand. I, I enjoy having a bit of fun too, but, I mean, you know, you have to comply with their rules. I mean, you've obviously had a bit too much to drink. I think the best thing... For mate, you be like, I've only had a couple. I don't think it's best that I take you back to the pub, but I could take you home. Look, you go down, swear these guys down there, so they don't have the right to grab people, rough them up and throw them out. How about um, I go down to the pub and you come in my car and I'll ask them, you know, oh, mate, we'll go behavior. Come on. I, I don't guarantee that you'll be back in there. Oh, you just seem on. to be intoxicated. Come on, then, just go. All right? Come on. Good boy. Thank you. <laughs> All right, come on. OK. Thanks, Frank. Thank you. Take a seat. We talked you around. What was your bottom line to begin with? I'll take him home. Yep. Yeah. What did you end up doing? I'm oh, taking him back to go speak to the owner of the pub. Right. Did you really want to do that? Oh, no, but I thought, <laughs> no. <laughs> He's talked you around, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Frank he's needs to, around, to develop so. confidence. He needs to develop his assertiveness skills. Um, he, he's a very calm sort of person. You know, maybe his age may be a little barrier to experience and dealing with people. Yeah. So remember, when you've made a decision, you've set your goal or your bottom line in place as a police officer, whatever that might be, stick with it. A few things to improve on a bit on my assertiveness and it's just in the moment you get a little bit lost. Tone of voice. Yeah. Yep. If we have to, it has to come up a fraction. Yeah. Yeah. So, Chris, use his name as soon as he hears it, he'll stop. Listen to me for a moment. The night's over. 
you're not going back. Let me make that quite clear. Yeah. Okay? So you made that decision, Frank. You just have to follow it through with, right. with the picture, yeah? Tone, contact, body language, eye contact, yeah? yeah? Right. And they are skills you can work on, Frank. Right. And they're skills that you really need to have developed by the time you get out there on yeah. the street, yeah? Right. Aspiring prosecutor Tony has done the same class as Frankie. And back in Mount Druitt, he's putting it into practice. I don't want to talk to them. That's all right, I'm going to talk to them. I don't want to talk to them. Seriously, okay. I don't want to talk all to right. them. A woman has been ejected from a local hotel. Yeah, you've, got to you've got to move away 50 metres. If, if, if you don't do so that... So this isn't 50 metres. So 50 metres from it. Let's, let's, we'll just, if, as long as you move away 50 metres, that'll be you all OK. Say, I saw the, a couple of bouncers arguing and waving arms at this... Uh, young lady, she's basically just wants to go back in, inside to the premises to go to the toilet and um, she's been kicked out and basically we've, we've just asked her to move along and she's refusing to do that. I only want to go to the toilet, that's all I want to do well, is told, go to the toilet. They, well they told you no, you're not going in that area. So no, I'm not going in there, I'm asking you to take right, me to well, the toilet. No. I'm you telling you now, if I, this is okay. if you I want to go to the if toilet. If you fail to do that, you may be committing an offence. Do you understand that? No. Okay. No, I don't. What don't you understand about that? Either? Nothing. Frankly, okay. I don't understand I'm directing nothing. you now to clear away 50 metres from this location. And you fail to do All's so, I know you is may be arrested. Do you understand that? All I know is... She's had a lot to drink, you can tell, just because of the fact she's just repeating the same things over and over and just, just stuck on one, one track. The woman is free to go home, but because she won't, police have little choice. You're under arrest. Do you understand that? No. Okay, well, you, that's what the go is, okay? You don't have to say or do anything if you do not wish to. Anything you do say or do will be recorded and may later be used as evidence. So what am I being arrested for? Failing to quit the vicinity of a licensed premises. So you're under arrest at this point in time and you will be coming back to Mount Druitt Police Station. We will be confirming okay. your identification and we'll be taking it from there. Can I go to the toilet then? Yes, at the police station you may. Sometimes no amount of talking will solve a problem. This way. The on-the-spot fine has added $550 to the woman's night out. At Police College, exams have begun. Are you fine? Are you studying? Yeah, yeah, I study. I fell asleep. I didn't study. The pressure is unrelenting. It's taking its toll on law graduate Alex. I feel like I can't convey how stressful it is. It's the most stressful thing I've ever done in my life and I've been at university for four years. Ralph. This place just consumes you wholly. It just becomes your whole life, your whole purpose of your existence. And you just sometimes you just want to get away. The students also face physical tests. Alex is a personal trainer, but today she's having trouble keeping up. Black hat, bring those hips up. That's I really it. struggled to get through. I think it's all the stress and just being up late and studying and then getting up and coming down to do PT. And it's, yeah, it's hard. I sort of, yeah, first day that I really thought, I just don't want to do this, it's just too much. You know, if you work at a LAC and you you don't want to do it because you don't feel like doing it, well, you're in the wrong job. you just got to do things that, if you don't feel like doing it, you just got to do it. That's it, you got no choice. Suck it up and do it. No running together. It's as hard as you can go. 59-year-old Marilyn has to suck it up too. So what you'll do is you'll start here. You'll run 400 metres. When you finish here, you'll walk 200 metres as a recovery. All good? Let's do it. Line up right here. Hard as you can go. Hard as you can go. The former triathlete is in good shape, but today we'll test her. On your mark, set, go. Go, people. 400, fast as you can go. Oh, good start. Look at him go. Yeah. Marilyn's about to get overtaken, I think. Too slow, you lost. Come on, mate, keep going. Took it up. Marilyn, hurry up. Really good. That's too slow. Next one, long fast. Don't stop yet. Up there. Marilyn, keep going. Come on, let's go. Ready to go again. All the way up. No, I can't breathe this morning. On your mark, set, go. Let's go, people. Go as fast as you can go now. Fast legs, come on. Girls, just run! It's too much. Marilyn has collapsed. Marilyn, 
What happened? I just couldn't breathe. Okay. Well, don't start running again no, if you can't please. breathe. I want to finish. Come back to the start. I've got to keep doing it. Just walk around for a minute. Get your breathing under control. Walking around. Get your black out. Joining the police has been Marilyn's lifelong ambition. But perhaps she's left it too late. It's been a bit of a shell shock. I've just been pushing my body too much. You've got to get through, you've got to be hard on yourself and you've got to do it. Yeah. We have definitely seen improvement with Marilyn. Saying that, it's still not enough for what's needed. Um, we all have good hopes for Marilyn and I hope she passes and I hope she can get through. But in all reality, um, she's just not there. I'm determined. I'll get there. Just got to listen to my body. <laughs>